minutes away from the start. One final stretch, a last bit of advice, and a few words of wisdom. You need training, devotion, and peace of mind. It's not easy, but it's possible if you give your heart to it. First, the professional swimmers were set off. Then 300 amateurs, young and old, jump into the Atlantic Ocean for the annual five-kilometer open water race to the historic island of Gore. As the hours go by, the gaps between swimmers widens. Faced with strong currents, pain sets in. The swimmers battle cramps and exhaustion. He says, my lungs are hurting. For many, it's just about trying to complete it and get to Gore Island. It's like a marathon on water. The goal is to get to Gore, which for us is a symbol of our history. It's an important event. This stretch of Atlantic Ocean that separates Dakar to Gore is of historical importance. The island was a major hub for the slave trade, where African men, women and children were captured, boarded on ships to America. Some in chains tried to escape. They would try to swim to the mainland in what was then shark-infested waters. This isn't just a swim race. It's a tribute to those who remain defiant, refusing their fate as slaves, instead swimming for freedom. And so this is also a celebration of freedom, resistance, and the human spirit's ability to overcome adversity. Here comes the winner. Adama Cha Njar, a soldier for Senegal's Navy. It's a victory, not just for me, but for all our people here in Senegal and throughout the world. Then slowly, one by one, others come out of the water, each pushing beyond their limits to make it to the other side, breathless, but happy and proud. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.